What is going on all of you beautiful people? It is Colossal Kiwi here, and today I want to talk about sniper rifles in Dying Light. Now, since the release of Dying Light, there have been countless requests from the community to add in certain features, uh, there have been rallies and cries for more, and in some cases, we even got what we asked for, the most notable example being drivable vehicles with the introduction of the buggy in Dying Light the following, and other examples of us getting what we want uh, includes the bow, the crossbow, new shotguns, new revolver pistols, and even new weapon attachments. Well, one weapon attachment in particular, the red dot sight in the form of the marksman rifle. However, the sniper rifle, which is without a doubt one of the most highly requested additions to the game and has been for quite some time, is nowhere to be seen. But maybe that's for the best. Maybe snipers would ruin Dying Light. Maybe there are some very valid and technical reasons as to why we haven't seen them yet. Maybe, just maybe, sniper rifles were never meant to be. Let's talk about that. Now, as I'm sure most of you would have heard at this point, Techland recently announced that they are going to be bringing us 10 free pieces of DLC for Dying Light over the next 12 months, and this has sparked a lot of conversation about sniper rifles, amongst other things of course, but I have noticed a lot of comments about sniper rifles saying things like, well, I mean there are 10 DLC bundles coming our way, maybe one of those bundles is finally going to include sniper rifles and we are finally going to be able to assassinate enemies from afar. And at first glance, this does seem rather plausible and does get me kind of excited because, like a lot of you watching this video, I like using sniper rifles, I like having the option in games to use sniper rifles because, well, it has some clear advantages. Obviously, it allows you to, as I said before, eliminate your enemies from a great distance, and if you have a silencer attachment on that sniper rifle, not only can you eliminate enemies from a great distance, but you can also do it very stealthily. And whilst there are some reasons that support the implementation of sniper rifles in Dying Light, or the idea of it at least, there are also some reasons that come to mind that are kind of against sniper sniper rifles as well. For example, I've seen people mention that implementing sniper rifles into Dying Light would take away from the focus of melee combat, and as we all know, melee combat is its kind of the core focus of combat in Dying Light. Yes, you have crossbows and you have some guns and stuff, but for the most part, there's that real emphasis on just hacking and slashing away at zombies. So I guess some people think that if someone has a sniper rifle in their possession, why would they go up and do some hacking and slashing when they can safely eliminate enemies from a distance? And I do kind of understand that. Obviously, if we're given the option of a sniper rifle, a lot of people are going to rely on that sniper rifle because it does give you quite an advantage if you can get enemies from quite a distance. But I don't know, there's something so great about that melee combat that, once again, it's the signature thing about the combat in Dying Light that I don't think a sniper rifle would be enough to take away from it. If anything, it just kind of gives you some more options and all that, you know, you can snipe them from afar and if you attract their attention, because obviously, firing a sniper rifle, unless it has a silencer on it, would attract like virals and shit. And let's assume for a second that they are going to implement sniper rifles, right? It hasn't been confirmed, there's been no mention of it whatsoever, but let's just assume for a second that they are going to put them in the game. Adding silences as an option to the sniper rifles, that's an entirely different debate in itself, and there may be some reasons for and against adding silences as well, because we already have the crossbow and the bow, uh, specifically kind of the crossbow is the closer thing to the sniper rifle than the bow is, I would say, and the crossbow is a great way to eliminate enemies silently already, so would implementing a sniper rifle with the option of a silencer then kind of make the crossbow redundant? Because the only advantage the crossbow would have is that you can retrieve the bolts sometimes. Other than that, I suppose, you know, there'll be damage differences as well, but it, they're kind of both a one-shot headshot, unless you're playing in hard or nightmare mode, at least for most enemies it is a one-shot headshot. But 
what about, and this is just a random idea, because remember, as I mentioned earlier at the start of this video, they did have that DLC where they brought out the red dot sight, where you could convert a rifle into a marksman rifle, and then it has a red dot sight attachment. What if they were just to bring out an attachment for the crossbow, a sniper scope, right? Because then they wouldn't have to implement snipers. You have, you can retrieve your bolts and stuff, you have all the advantages. I suppose bolts do drop off considerably more when you shoot them at a long distance, so that could pose some issues, but that's just kind of a possibility, don't you think? If they've implemented a red dot sight for rifles, who's to say they're not going to implement, or they can't implement, a, uh, a scope, a sniper scope, for crossbows? Maybe that's kind of the sniper compromise that would really work out the best. I just remembered that when using the crossbow, the player does have the option of using elemental bolts, which would be pretty badass if you were to use them in combination uh, with a sniper scope. That would be uh, pretty cool, but regardless of how they're going to implement, uh, potentially implement this long range weapon, whether it be a sniper scope for the crossbow or it just be a sniper rifle entirely, have you ever kind of noticed when you're running around Dying Light and you see enemies in the distance, when you shoot them, they kind of just disappear or they just drop in just a, a flat second like that. Just one frame, they're standing up. The next frame, they're kind of standing down. Or sometimes zombies don't even spawn at all until you're kind of within a close-ish range. I remember reading an, an interview from behind the scenes about Dying Light where they mentioned that the spawn system was uh, really intricate and only one of the developers fully understood how it worked, actually and kind of invented it, and it kind of just generates zombies as you're kind of nearby, and maybe with this kind of spawning system, and the fact that the zombie animations and the AI is a bit weird at a distance, maybe just a long distance weapon wouldn't gel very well, and maybe that's one of the technical reasons as to just why they haven't implemented it at this point, because they have seen, I'm sure they've seen plenty of comments about sniper rifles, they know that we want sniper rifles, they also know that a lot of people have been asking for chainsaws as well, but that's a whole debate, different debate in itself as well. But part of me feels like if they were going to implement sniper rifles, they would have done so by now, and that at this point, these kind of 10 DLC bundles that we're going to see, they're not really going to be anything substantial. I feel like they're just going to be like some outfits here and there and all that. And, you know, introducing a whole new weapon at this point, that would have been something to do for the following. I know we did get the crossbow, but not a lot of people are still constantly playing Dying Light. I myself, as I've mentioned, have got kind of burned out of it. Although, you know, I would, I'm sure a lot of us still would appreciate uh, the addition of a sniper rifle, and going back to the whole stealth mode for a quick second, you know, the, the potential of using a sniper rifle with a silencer, I mean, that sounds like a cool idea once again, you know, eliminating enemies silently from a distance, but the Dying Light stealth system in itself is very flawed, and I'm gonna, I think, do a separate video about the stealth system in particular, but, yeah... I guess where I stand on this, the whole sniper rifles thing that a lot of people have been requesting is that, yeah, you know what, I would like sniper rifles if they can work, you know, assuming everything does work out on the technical side of things, I think it wouldn't take away from the core experience of Dying Light, I don't think it would take away from, you know, melee combat and stuff, I think it would be cool, but we don't need it, and we don't need to make a huge fuss about it if we don't get sniper rifles, I would really like to see them in Dying Light 2, however, I would also like to see them improve the stealth system because right now when you, you know, you shoot enemies and then you kind of run away and you lose their sight, but as soon as you go back in the area, they immediately know you're there and they can see you through walls sometimes. And, you know, the stealth system, as I said, is a bit buggy. So I think sniper rifles is something I would more like to see in Dying Light 2. And I don't think we need it in the in this current, you know, Dying Light, but it would be cool. Um... Let me know what you guys think, you know what, leave a comment, this is kind of an opportunity if they're going to be creating more content for Dying Light and you really, really do want sniper rifles in Dying Light, or maybe you really, really think they shouldn't be in the game, let me know, leave comments, uh, you know, or upvote comments that you agree with, and we'll have a nice little discussion about it, but anyway, I think that's going to be it for this video, once again, feel free to let me know what you think, and have a wonderful day, Bye bye